What is up, guys? I'm Zav. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today we're coming back at you with the season finale of Bloodhounds. This is episode eight. Last episode, uh, it was pretty much a build-up episode into what is coming next. This is uh, the length of it feels like an actual K-drama. So we're going to see a lot of stuff. Um, I'm super excited. I think our boys are going to fight this episode. They were talking about how they want to maul uh, Myung Gil and... They're gonna, I think, try to get uh, Mr. Troy's gold back, the one that's stuck in, like right on the harbor in those crates. And we need to see Bomb die, like, and Young Gale. Like, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Yeah, I'm really looking to see Juju make a big return this episode. We didn't get any of her in the last episode. And I feel like she has, like, as big of a part in getting this revenge against Young Gil as Goon Wu and. Wu Jin. So she needs to come back from Rome, rejoin the group. We haven't seen her in probably a year, it sounds like. And I don't know. I I, th I think Wu Jin and Gun Wu like are doing a good job. Like what they pulled off with Mr. Hong last episode is really cool. But I don't think that they are actually going to be able to take down Myung Gil without Juju. I think we need the trio all together. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've been thinking about it, and I just, as much as I want to see them fight and, like, kill like kill them, they're not the knifers. I don't think they're going to kill anyone, because then they'd probably end up going to jail or something, realistically. I want to see them fighting for sure. They've been training and hyping up the fact that they've gotten stronger and stuff, and they're fully healed and whatnot, but I'm just wondering if anyone's actually gonna die i feel like in a lot of these k-dramas where there's a revenge mission sometimes the bad guy just gets arrested and i wonder if that's gonna happen for this one which is like kind of it's it's satisfying but also it'd probably be more satisfying to see him die and, and pay for what he's done they yep. need to die hopefully that happens we'll see you guys do like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description got the patreon the discord and all of our social medias as well as our po box and our second channel make sure you follow all of those and we'll catch you guys in the season finale of bloodhounds let's do this <laughs> so they're both just helping out opposite sides mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, the wrong person to confide in. Okay, so we didn't lose, he didn't lose everything. It's just on a laptop. That's true. <laughs> they wouldn't be moving like they're moving if they knew he still had it. <sighs> Get the baseball bats out, guys. Young's shirt is cool. I can't lie. It just looks like a blue version of the Guy Fieri shirt. <laughs> yeah, they're at Mr. O's house. Oh, oh her grandpa. Okay. Don't show her. Oh, okay. Holy. <laughs> she's tagging along. <laughs> Maybe she's the Gigi replacement. Holy she's shit. She's an archer? Oh my god. That's sick. What if she puts a arrow through someone's head? 
Like how? What's he gonna do? Unless he pulls up with like a gun or something. That's what he's gonna do. Probably all healed up. He's probably dead. So what? We have a team of four people against all these guys now. I guess. Two of them being absolute randos, no offense. Yeah, one of them is a kid. <clears throat> I feel like I could just see Goonwoo in a superhero movie, bro. Like, he just looks like he could be Superman or something. Dude, I feel like they might take all these dudes down. I'd love to see it. Because I don't think Myung Gil is oh, here. Just, what? just kill him. Just fucking yeah. kill him. Okay. I think they're taking everyone down, straight up. Ooh! That is, that's a heavy punch. We're up two weight classes, boy. Uh, one punch, man. Oh my god. Down. Not so Mr. Nice Guru now. Here we Holy go. Holy shit. Up. Oh my up. gosh. Let's go. Wu Jin back like he never left. Like he never got stabbed four times. Wujin was pretty effective with a with a bat. I'd like to see that again. Dude, he is punching so hard. Oh, okay. That'd be terrifying. Just an archer somewhere shooting at you. Oh. oh. My. Holy shit. He's actually doing a lot of work. I love that they wear, like, the MMA gloves when yeah. they're fighting. <laughs> I don't like this matchup. This guy might be tough. I, he is, but he had a broken arm or hand or something. Oh! Let's go. Oh, he's putting oh, him in oh, the armbar. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude, these guys are down. Like, everyone's down. Yeah, we haven't fought Bomb yet, though. Gunwoo's gonna put you to bed, bro. I think. Gunu oh! No what? way he just <laughs> slept him like that. <laughs> oh my god! He's getting up, but fuck, dude. He, he was, was him. not expecting that force. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. He's shitting on him. It's nightmare mode. Oh. Wu Jin, you guys gotta punish him. Wu Jin, go help yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get your revenge. I think Gun Wu's good here. Gunwoo can take the entire downstairs. You guys go up there. Oh, oh that is saying, dude. Fucking scary. Woojin's gonna save him. Come on. I think Woojin's gonna kick this guy's ass. Coward. Oh my oh. god, dude. He's sick. Not letting your ass go. Uh oh. Oh. He's gonna snap that shit. Oh no, it's breaking. Kick him in the head. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yes. Come on, Wujin. This dude stabbed you like four times. He's got a knife again. Fuck him. I saw it on his hip, I think. Yeah. There it is. Jesus. Mmm. Oh! <laughs> Pull it out. Bomb hasn't landed one punch yet. Oh! <laughs> Bro. Just snapping his head back. At oh. Don't want him to grab you. Headbutt. Headbutt. 
Oh, oh. reverse headbutt. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Poke his eyes out, Goonwoo. Yep. Mm. Here she comes. Oof. <laughs> He's gonna go off. Control your breathing. Oh! <laughs> yes. This is oh, it. Come on. This is it. Unleash on him. Come on, we're both beating our final bosses. Grab his knife. I don't think he would do that. Oh! He's done. He's done. Oh my god. <laughs> Bomb. Go down, bro. Holy hell. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so pumped up. Mm. Oh god. What? This guy's a demon. I just love how he was like, little girl, let me borrow that. Oh no, dude. No. Make a choice here, bro. Come on, easy choice. <gasps> oh, he tricked me, bro. Oh my god. Palm's going in the freaking bed of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust him back there, though. He wouldn't fit in that trunk. He though. just knows how to break out of the things he's in. This is the last episode. Mm -hmm. It is. It's crazy, we're gonna get a wrap up. Heavy drinker goon will. <laughs> I love the word crony. Mm. We got one of his cronies. What does that even mean? Like his thugs, like his men. Some shit that they'd say in like Batman. Hey, it was one of the Joker's cronies. I have a feeling that this cop's gonna die. Not this one, the other one. No, he's gonna contact Myung Gil and say that they're mm. on to you. Is he just gonna kill him now? Probably. Oh god. Not Mr. O. What? Where the fuck are we? Who is this? Whoa. Who was that getting the coffee? Oh, it was Mr. Hong. No. Wait, what? <laughs> What's in that thing, bro? This is his cop yeah. cousin, right? And he's just about to die now? Oh my gosh, that's the owner. Yep. Oh, they got people all over. 
Oh. Dude, they're really good at getting rid of people. I'd be so pissed getting stabbed when I'm naked with shampoo salt. in my hair. What? He said salt. She happen to have it? I mean, it's a food place. Oh, he'll puke? Really smart. Why salt? I guess it's just... Oh, that's the computer that's the girl. That's cybernet girl. Yeah. Holy shit. That's what I'm saying. They just get rid of people. How did she not see? It was probably like a... Yeah, you good to walk. Yeah. Like, you, you can walk now. Kumu, come here. Everyone's dead. That was helping. Again. Get the, the gloves, gloves on. on. Yep. Put those gloves on. That means we're ready to beat some fucking ass. Who could you bring that will put up more of a fight? I'd love to hear it. There he is. This guy? Good man? Wow, that was so stupid. Yeah, because he can't talk because of his throat. He got it sliced. <laughs> Dude, what is... <laughs> it's always just like, walk into a place, let everyone surround you, and then fight! Kill them! It's like, what? <laughs> Holy shit! Who would think to just grab a fucking subway grate? Only someone strong enough to be able to use it like that. <laughs> oh! Caught him! <laughs> oh. Have they ever, like, killed anyone? No, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> They've definitely, like, had to have fucking paralyzed a couple people, though. There's no way. The Wujin's, like... Freaking... <laughs> We need our girl, bro. Yeah. Put an arrow through Myeonggil's fucking head. Stop. Okay, now resume. Yes. Oh, I feel like she's gonna miss now. No way. Yes, sir! Hit him in the arm. Go! Oh! Oh! -ho -ho. I think she's a little close. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> Mr. Rose, like, you let my fucking granddaughter come here? What the hell? They're fucked. Oh! Snake. Let's go. Fucking snake rat. <laughs> what a shitty day. Wait, isn't that the guy that got stabbed in the shower? Next to him? Yeah. She's still alive? Maybe they do suck at killing people. How? Oh, she got hit by a fucking huge Are truck. Are we sure that's her name? Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Oh, that's Chang Do. The guy that they sent away. Yeah. Mm.
형 만약에 임장도가 약속을 어기고 도망치면 저희 둘이 끝까지 쫓아가서 잡아올게요. 약속 지켜. 네. 음. AK Billy. What are you gonna do now, Billy? What's that? See, this guy is so pathetic. 대표가 정치 자금 대준 사람이 베트남 정부를 고위관료야. 숨겨놨던 비자금 다 챙겨서 넘어갈 거야. 컨테이너 아들 성공. 컨테이너 안에 비자금 숨겨놓은 탑차가 있을 거다. 김명길이 배에 올라 탈 때를 노려야 할까요? 배가 커서 잡기 쉽지 않을 걸. 그럼 어떻게 찾아요? Oh my gosh, are we gonna fight on a ship? 저희가 만약에 그 배를 타려면 어떻게 해야 할까? 내가 문자로 연락처를 남길게. 내 이름 대고 잘 검증해봐. 참고로. We got 300 mil. 감사합니다. 몸 조심해. 네. 응? Goodbye, Mr. O. I'm glad we were able to save you. You can lose taser air fast. It's a beautiful shot. We're on. <laughs> this is giving me OBX vibes. Yeah, I was thinking earlier when they were loading all that shit up, I was like, are they gonna run into Kiara and JJ on this boat? What's going on? JJ could take them. Yeah. Now nah, Pope's the real one. Season Enforcer. two. Kim <laughs> Getting his attention, because then Wu Jin's coming. Is that him? Was that him? It didn't look like him. Surely it was him. No thing. Oh no, it's a bait. Oh no. Mm. Oh, it is Kim Young Kim Jong Gil. Oh, I love the fucking. Oh, dude, you're not winning a fight. And he's not. He's not even gonna use the knife either. Big scratch on the back, bro. Bomb? Oh, bomb versus this oh, guy. Oh, this guy? Versus this guy. Bomb versus this guy. I don't know if Wu Jin can take him. Oh. Alright, yeah, I'll come up. Oh my god. Why would he go up? He's so cheap. I mean, we're going to have to try to do something here, Wu Jin. This is some video game shit, fighting on top of these crates. <laughs> I know, like, it's sick. This is a Mortal Kombat level. Oh. Holy shit. Every time they've fought Bomb, I think Goon Wu's kind of done everything. Yeah. Now it's your time, Wu Jin. Young Gil's kind of kicking his ass. No way he's that good of a fighter. <coughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Wow, fuck. look at his hand. 
All right, Wu Jin. Oh. Just keep going on him, though. Don't stop. Throw him off the ship or something. <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they both took a fall. That was like a freaking WWE thing. Come on, Wu Jin. Kill shot. That's it. We both beat Bomb. You know who never got to beat Bomb, though? Did you? Mr. Choi. Oh! Keep going. Yeah, let him have it. Just throw him off. Anytime they're out fighting or doing anything, everyone disappears from the area. Like no one's on this ship besides them. You think someone would come out and be like, hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> We're rich. They gotta give some of that to Juju for sure. Holy fuck, there's 84 billion here. Puts the royal merchant to shame. <laughs> okay, he's being real cool now. Who's he with? Bro. <laughs> Any guesses? Mr. Hong? That's your first one. Uh huh. He's capping, guys. We haven't seen her in forever. Finally over, miss. So many people died though. <laughs> Not that many people. All the good guys. Bloodhounds. So I guess our last episode I made a bold prediction that Juju wasn't gonna be in it. And how did I know this is the first thing you're gonna talk about? <laughs> Rob was wrong. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. I said I agreed with you. I said that I think she's gonna be in it, but then I just wanted to predict it. But she wasn't. We didn't even get her at the end or anything. It was just it. Um, but I feel like the main thing this episode was to save Mr. O because he got captured by Young Gil. And we did, we did do that. That was awesome. Uh, Juju basically got replaced by Mr. O's grand, uh, granddaughter. And she was very, she was cool. She was cool with a bow. She was, I think she was a good character. Um, but yeah, that was it. That was Bloodhounds. Yeah, I, I thought... It was a really good finale overall. Um, I, I, I didn't think that they were going to kill anyone. I don't think throughout the whole show they ever killed anyone. They being our main two, obviously, Goon Wu and Wu Jin. But they just beat so much ass this episode. It was unreal. They just, I think, three different fight scenes that they had this episode, which was awesome. They really did improve like we kind of suspected they would. And... Yeah, I just was really happy that at the end, it seems like Myung-gil, Bum, and Jun man are all going to be arrested when they get to Vietnam. And we got the gold bars too, which is dope. So I think that was awesome. We finally recovered the gold and we're going to now open like a welfare thing, like a, I think a hospital or something in the name of Mr. Choi under Ill Group, which is like the people building the hotel. So they kind of came through clutch those people too mm -hmm. i didn't think they were i still don't love like min bum and, and those guys but 
for what it was they were they were pretty cool and they helped out which is what we needed we were very low on resources going into this finale so they played a huge part so shout out to them overall i definitely really really like this show i think i just like the eight episode format of k-dramas more i think because this this show definitely reminded me of like my name and week hero class one which are both eight episodes i think the pacing is just really good in in that amount of time like this show it felt like there really wasn't any like weak moments it was pretty like non-stop we're moving the plot along pretty nicely um but the action that was probably my favorite part just seeing the two boys absolutely kick ass in every episode the the two main guys were also probably my favorite part about the show their relationship was just awesome to watch throughout the whole thing and obviously uh I don't know, just seeing their friendship develop too throughout the whole show was really, really cool. They're honestly one of my favorite duos in, in any of the shows that we've watched, but uh, I will say I was pretty disappointed that Juju didn't get anything in this episode. I felt like she was a really big character in this show, but I mean, I, I understand the way that they explained it. Like she just, she mentally broke down whenever her grandfather died, Mr. Choi. And she just was never able to recover from it. So she 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 walked away from the revenge plot. And I get it, but I really, really wish that we would have gotten to see her get revenge for what happened to her grandfather. I also think, though, that it was cool that we kind of got it, it kind of felt like they were they failed the first time and they were trying again with like rescuing Mr. O like they couldn't save Mr. Choi, but this time they didn't fail and they were able to save Mr. O. Yeah, I all, I really, really enjoyed the show. I do wish our villains would have died though because they took so many precious people from us. But I guess we didn't get to see them arrested, but I guess they're going to get arrested. It was nice seeing them get beat up pretty good at the end. Um, but all, all in all, I do think them being dead would have been more satisfying for sure. But I did love the show. I think Myung Gil was a really good villain too. Yeah. I, like, I didn't like him obviously, but whenever a villain like gets you to actually dislike them, like they did a good job. So, I definitely really hated Myung Gil at moments in this show. Um, I just like villains like that. I think he definitely gave me Choi Mujin vibes, and uh, I'm a fan. Not as cool, cool as Choi no, Mujin. No, 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 not I'm any. Lying. Honestly, not anywhere near as cool. But no. he gave me. A similar feeling and I, I just like that yeah I also will agree that I really really like this show I do like this format way better um, to be honest it's for the same reasons that Rob said but I'm also very one of the things that I like about the k-dramas is uh, recognizing people and I'm really happy we met especially these two main actors mm -hmm. Because I think we said the first episode, like it's kind of rare that we don't really recognize anyone nowadays in these because we've watched a good bit of them. But if there's anything we watch in the future with these two, I'm going to be so pumped just because yeah. of how much I like them in this show. I think they would be awesome in other roles. Definitely. So um, do you guys think there's a potential for season two for this or no? I don't see it. Uh, the only honestly. reason I say that is because they didn't show them getting like arrested or anything. Yeah. And also, I feel like Young Gil still has people back home that like he could call to, to do oh, something. No, dude, nobody's stronger than Bomb, and just yeah, we absolutely went to work on him. I don't know. I don't. I don't see a season two. I honestly, I've never seen such an abrupt ending to a show before. It was pretty like, abrupt. They just went back to the orphanage, and then it was over. That was it. Um, it, it, it was cool though I, I think that the story ends there though in my opinion yeah me I agree if you guys do like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description we got the Patreon the Discord and all of our social medias as well as our PO Box and our second channel make sure you check those out and thank you for watching Bloodhounds with us we'll see you guys next time for the next K-Drama peace out